With more than 25 years of success in the industry, Gary Michaels' proven insight has impacted thousands nationwide by sharing his techniques for balancing career and a thriving personal life. Gary is the co-founder of the motivational training company Southwestern Consulting and conducts seminars and conferences across the country as well as individual training and coaching. Gary hosts a weekly radio show on sales and leadership topics. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for leading motivational expert Gary Michaels. When you want success so bad like you'd want a breath of air, your last breath of air, Nothing's going to stop you. Would you agree? When people come to our events, they walk away with the feeling of, I can do this. I know what I want now. I'm inspired. And, and, and what I, I attempt to do in front of every audience is give them the tools, the energy, the excitement, shall we say, turn it up a notch that will last longer than just the two or three day sugar high that you typically get from seeing a speaker. We want to give them the tools that they can walk away with and in a week and in a month and a year down the road, easily remember it and will come back to their recollection of what we talked about from the stage. Saying something positive aloud stops you from thinking something negative inside. So positive affirmations are huge because you're not going to go like, I'm on fire, things are great, but life sucks. <laughs> I mean, you could, but the potential of doing that isn't very likely, and it's still not at the same exact time. It's a moment later. But if you're saying enough positive things out loud, it's hard to think negative inside. What do you want? What is it that you want more than anything? What do you really want? What would your ideal life look like if you could have anything you wanted? When you want something bad enough, what price are you willing to pay? What price are you willing to pay? I'm about 15 pounds less than I was a couple years ago. I need about 10 more pounds I want to lose. It hasn't been as important enough to me to be all the way down yet, honestly, but I'm a lot better than I was because I want it. You will, you will go to the level that your want is. Does that make sense? And no further. And no further. So what do you want from life? Do you struggle with this question? Are you too busy to think about this question? Do you think it's just impossible to achieve it? For me, it was nobody ever asked me. Nobody ever asked me, what do you want? I'm hoping this can spread. I hope you guys honestly will go back to your families and your friends. Say, I saw this guy speak. It's not about me. I don't care. But share the message. All right? And say, what do you want? Oh. <laughs> and they'll answer the same way that you probably did. What is it that you want? And get them thinking about it. Because our world could be so much better if people knew. The greatest thing about coming to a seminar where Gary Michael speaks is that it helps you understand yourself better and that you are in control of your own destiny. My name is Bill Romeo with American Prosperity Group and we met Gary about three months ago at our corporate office and he was so energetic and jazzed us that we decided to come on board with Gary. We've been working with him for about two months and he put the I will, I can and I'm going to back into my sales career. Are you ready to make more money and be more successful at work? Are you ready? to actually have better, more powerful relationships with your clients, your friends, your family? Are you ready to be in shape? Ready to be healthy? Ready to be more spiritual? Ready to be smarter, better, stronger, and turn it up a notch in your life? Then absolutely, you need to take some steps today. We say take action now. Start now. Don't wait. What do you need to start doing that you're not doing today, but you need to start today to do it? And what do you need to stop doing? What do you need to quit? What do you need to stop doing that's causing you to not hit the goals you want? Now you might be thinking, well, Gary, what if I have a great game plan? I've got a strong why. I've got smart, specific goals. And they're in writing. And by the way, if the goals are in writing, you're seven times more likely to achieve them. And I still don't hit my goal. Well, there's three more parts I want to mention today. First is you need accountability. Even the most powerful people in this world, like our president, has accountability partners and mentors and coaches. It's been proven that if you're accountable to somebody other than yourself, you'll do better. Next, you should have a reward for accomplishing your goal, something that motivates you and inspires you and drives you and attracts you towards it. And lastly, you should have a penalty if you don't hit it. That's right, a penalty. See, they say that you're more 
driven to stay away from pain than it is towards moving towards pleasure. That's right. See, people will do anything to avoid pain more than they will to move towards pleasure. When are you most susceptible to negative self-talk? When you're tired. When something is annoying. What time of day? How many of you guys have a hard time in the morning? Yeah. Okay. How many have a hard time in the afternoon? How many have a hard time in the evening? How many never raise their hand in public no matter what? <laughs> <laughs> Write this down. You're seven times more likely to be successful when your goals are in writing and they're reviewed at least every other day. So you're seven times more likely to be successful if your goals are in writing instead of just in your head and they're reviewed at least every other day. And goals should be SMART. SMART's an acronym. Specific. Don't say, I want to get better. That's not specific enough. By how much? By when? Measurable is what M stands for. So you can measure the percentage of growth over prior or falling back. A stands for attainable. Don't just say, I'm going to do 10 million this year. My best year ever is 300,000. <laughs> R is reviewable by somebody other than yourself. And T is have a timetable. Your team, which for many of you is your family, will do half of what you do right and twice of what you do wrong. So what are we being like as parents? What are we being like as leaders? Can we do better? And please, again, I want to say to you guys, I'm not lecturing you. I'm speaking from my heart because someone had to speak to me from their heart to get me to change. My mom has been there for me in every situation. Things were tough, my mom was there. And I often just call her, Mom, I appreciate you. Thank you, you, know, you just comfort me. And what you want to do is you want to tell them how much you appreciate them for the way they talk to you and the way they are around you. And if you do it right, they're going to go, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> it, they, okay, but you don't want anything. That's the, it's, 100, it's the 100 zero principle, right? Hi, I'm Keith. I've been in sales for 30 years, and I've known Gary Michaels for over 20, and his enthusiasm is contagious. I was reminded of a lot of the basics in my profession, but also just in life, being enthusiastic and moving people to action in whatever our field is the key to success, and Gary's way of getting that across, fantastic. I just went through a fabulous session with Gary Michaels and if you have a team that you are trying to lead to, to step it up a notch as he would say this is definitely the way to go I've been at sales for over 20 some years and I have a renewed excitement I can't wait to get back out into the field and utilize some of the things that Gary has taught us this morning and we're everywhere from qualifying the the buyer to closing the sale all things that we need to hear we heard him this morning and with the enthusiasm that was Un unheard of before. For those of you that want to balance your life, balance your personal life as well as your professional life, honestly the technique I teach is to develop the ideal wheel. The ideal wheel is like a bicycle wheel, seven spokes, there's seven parts of our life from our physical fitness to our career, our financial, our social, what we do with our friends, our family, our, our mental, always be learning, and, and of course our spiritual. And I believe that if you don't inspect what you're doing in business and your personal life, how can you expect to be at your best? So following the ideal wheel strategy has you monthly looking at areas of your life where you want to grow and then weekly and daily putting an action plan to it to make it happen. One, he's shaking his hips already, two, three, okay, some of you guys are still going, some of you guys are going, come on, let's get crazy, come on, at least today we're closers, close the deal, win the book.
All right, here we go. Three, two, one.